All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now, alongside gloves, goalkeeper kits are very important to the goalkeepers union. We all remember our favorite kit from either when we were playing or from watching the superstars growing up. So in today's video, I thought I'd put together a little bit of a rundown of some of the most iconic goalkeeper kits from throughout history. If I don't include the one that you're thinking of, let me know in the comments, but we've got a good list. So let's jump straight into it. And we couldn't start anywhere else because the first goalkeeper and the first goalkeeper kit that makes it onto the list is Jorge Campos in his Mexico kit from the 94 World Cup. In order to match his flamboyant and athletic performances between the posts, Campos used to design the kits himself, which probably explains some of those incredible colours. A little bit of a hero for showing that you don't need to be six foot four to play in goal. Campos also used to play outfield, especially for his club team, and managed to finish his career with 35 goals. But that kit from the World Cup for Mexico will definitely be known as one of the most iconic kits from goalkeeping history. Next up is David Seaman's England kit from Euro 96. Now the colour alone makes it iconic, but the flannel material, the oversized England badge, and the number one that looks like it's been glued on epitomises that era of goalkeeper tops. And it must have helped. He got that penalty save against Spain in the quarterfinals, but definitely could not leave this one out of the list. Next up, Dino Zoff and the Italy kit from the 1982 World Cup. The opposite end of the colour spectrum compared to Campos and Seaman, but equally as iconic. Only an Italian would be able to pull off what looks like a school jumper and make it look extremely classy. Add to that the white captain's armband on the left arm and you've got an iconic look. And again, must have paid off, Italy won the World Cup. And after that fashionable Italian reprieve, we're going straight back to the extreme colours of the mid-90s with the Newcastle goalkeeper top from the 96-97 season. Won by Shaka Hislop and Pavel Cernicek, you've got the sunset over the Newcastle City skyline alongside that classic oversized Newcastle Brown Ale sponsorship logo. Probably wouldn't have enjoyed wearing it myself, but definitely one that goes down in goalkeeper kit history. Next, a few honourable mentions from the 2000s, my era of growing up and loving goalkeeper kits. And we can't leave this guy out. Gabor Karali with his grey jogging bottoms, playing for Crystal Palace and for Hungary. The definition of iconic. Don't know how he did it, especially in the wet. Those things must have weighed about 10 kilos a leg, but an incredible goalkeeper kit. We've also got Tim Howard, the 2012 camouflage Everton goalie top. I wasn't a big fan, but definitely unique. And finally, Joe Hart in the England Euro 2012 kit. All Umbro look, red and green, with the little St George's Crosses definitions. As a 16, 17 year old, I really enjoyed that kit. Next, and the penultimate goalkeeper and goalie kit on our list is the godfather of goalkeeping, Lev Yashin, and his all black kit for the Soviet Union and Dynamo Moscow. That all black look alongside the soft cap is what gave him the name, the Black Spider. And you have seen plenty of goalkeepers throughout history looking to emulate that very, very cool all black look. As the only goalkeeper to win the Ballon d'Or, he is a legend of goalkeeping. Incredible on the pitch, but also the definition of an iconic kit. And finally, rounding off our list, we couldn't leave him out. Peter Schmeichel, the 1999 all green Man United kit from that treble winning season. Probably the stuff of nightmares for strikers at the time. That flash of green flying out at you in a 1v1, in the shape of a star, definitely iconic. And we've also got to mention that bright Denmark kit from the 1992 Euros win. He definitely had some memorable goalie tops. And I thought I'd leave you with some of my favorite kits that I've worn from my career so far. We've got the Petia all black one, a little bit of a nod to Lev Yashin. Also my Macclesfield Town, Carl Brini yellow kit from when I first started. And then finally, probably one of my worst, Europa Point in Gibraltar, green and red. That one will probably haunt me for the rest of my life. If I didn't include any that you've been thinking of, please let me know in the comments. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more goalkeeping content. I'll see you next Sunday, as always, for the next video. But look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, and I'll speak to you in a bit.